Are you damn tired of trying to fix your dreadful takeaway? I'm gonna give you three tips right now to fix it forever. Let's get to it. Welcome back to the channel, guys. It has been a little while since I've been in the studio bringing you some content from the home of Intelligent Golf Performance here at the wonderful Precision Golf. Today, I'm talking you through three fixes of how we can get your backswing or your takeaway improved for the better. Takeaway is a cunning move, <coughs> excuse me, away from the golf ball. And it's a topic that I think is more talked about by golf coaches than any other topic. It's the first thing that a golfer will see whether a golfer sees the club being taken away inside, whether the golf club is being lifted up, those are the two different tracks of the club head, aren't they? Invariably, we'll see a golf coach say, oh, you're a little bit inside. And then the next golf coach say, oh, a little bit outside on the takeaway on that one. Well, for me, takeaway is an important ingredient. And I think back to my early days as a golf coach and I too would be looking eagerly at that takeaway but I don't place quite as much importance on it these days as I used to and that's just my progression as a coach and my beliefs and understandings and of course every golf coach has got their own beliefs and understandings. I've just come back from Portugal if you haven't checked out four of my last videos please do it it's something different. I know that you guys and girls that enjoy this time inside the studio, but those videos are really giving us an opportunity to take what we've learned from here out on the golf course and really allow you to lower your scores because ultimately, isn't that what this is all about? Lowering scores, getting an improved handicap, being able to go in the bar and say, I had 35 points today, I had 39 points today, I had 42 points today because we want to take the maximum joy out of our game and we want to keep on improving our scores. So do check those videos out. The takeaway. I just referenced two directions of the club head. The first one was inside, the second one was outside. Our usual checkpoint for golfers is that by the time the club shaft is parallel to the ground, where is the club head in relation to the handle? That's one checkpoint that a golfer will look for. The other checkpoint will be the orientation of the face angle. Is the face looking up? Is the face looking down? For me, the orientation of the face has a big impact from the grip. If you are someone that has a strong grip, you'll be someone that tends to have a face that looks more down to the ground. If you're someone that has a weak grip, you're going to tend to see a club face that looks more up to the sky. And that is whether the club head is in or the club head is out. If the club head is in, you could still get that face looking down, you could still get that face looking up. So you need to assess in your game, because my channel is not about going, this is what you must do to fix your takeaway. I need to give you three insights three tips to allow you to unearth what you need to be looking out for in your game. So the first one is the head orientation relative to the handle. Is the head forwards of it? Is the head back of it? Is the club face looking down or is the club face looking up? You also then need to understand where is the handle relative to the start point? Has the handle gone out that way? Or has the handle gone inwards? So when we started, it's all very well having a head outside the handle, but if the handle has moved out in that direction in the process of moving the head out there, you've created another error just to fix the fact that your club head is swinging inside. So the handle being out there as well as the head is not a fix for the club head being inside because I could have the handle in the right spot or in the same spot, should I say, but the club head in 
Now I've kept the handle there and I've now just moved the head out. Now all of a sudden I've got my handle and my head moving out, which then starts to encourage a path, encourage, won't guarantee, encourage a path that works across the back of the golf ball. I could also, by moving the club head out, moving the, uh, the handle out, I could then also create a path from the inside. So just because the takeaway was improved on both of those swings, so I went from the club head in to the club head out, one swing produced an outside in club path, the next one, where the same takeaway is in place, created an inside out path. You can appreciate these arms can do whatever they fancy. Just because you've set them in the right place here guarantees you nothing. So being fixated on how the club moves back is really only part of the story which is why I have a massive issue with P1, P2, P3, P4, P5, P6, P7, P whatever. And when I mean P, I mean position. Because if I isolate a golf club in any particular spot, that particular spot is where the club was in that time, in that freeze frame moment. What is more insightful is what went before and what went afterwards. Because I could have a golf club that's moving out and back. I could have a club head moving in and out. But if I pictured the club in the same spot for both of those moves, they may look the same, but one's travelled from this direction, one's travelled from that direction. And that's why this golf club, when we understand it, is a swinging implement and the forces that we project through the handle will affect what the club head does. The grip that we ply on the handle will affect the orientation of the face. So if you isolate the position of the club in any part of your golf swing, you are seeing less than 10% of the real story. So please, please stop it. It will not help you. By all means, take the picture, but look, two, three frames before, two, three frames afterwards. That is way more insightful. So the takeaway, how do we fix it? Number one, if you take the golf club and you set yourself up to the golf ball and you hover the club head in the sky, I immediately feel the grip become heavier and it will push back at my hands. Now what I want you to do is start to move the club head, but keep the club handle in the same spot. And what you'll do is you'll start to feel where this club head wants to swing for you. And what you need to do at the top hand to change the way the club moves. So if you have a, a takeaway where the club head moves in, you will feel my left hand try to rise up. If you want to therefore push the club head out, now all of a sudden you're gonna to have to start to feel more pressure down. If you're someone that picks the golf club out, uh, pick the golf club up, you're gonna to have to try to feel like you have less push down. You wanna have more swing in. So by elevating the club head off the floor, you immediately start to get a sense of where the head wants to move. So hover the golf club, almost above the ball, and start to move the golf club away. And you'll start to get a sense of where the head is in space. And by doing that, you'll really start to sense the weight in the head in how the club head moves away. So that's tip number one. The takeaway is really set by how the two hands work with each other. So the second drill I want you to make is by putting your left thumb on the top of the golf club and cradling the club head with the three fingers of your right hand, if you're a right-handed golfer. Make the left hand sit underneath your left shoulder and just make some back swings. 
And what you'll find is, if you keep the left thumb underneath your left shoulder, you'll be able to see that the handle is still able to come in and around you. But the minute you move your left arm off in any given direction, so let's take the person that swings the club head too much from the inside, as the person pulls the club head in with the right hand, the, right, the left hand will try to push itself out and you'll lose the control of the butt end because I've only got my thumb on it. For the person that starts to take the golf club away, you'll really start to feel how that left thumb no longer sits underneath the shoulder and then you'll start to get yourself in all sorts of bother here and it will start to feel a little bit out of orientation. So thumb on the butt of the golf club underneath your left shoulder, cradle it with your right hand at the end of the grip and then just start to make some half back or one third back and one third through. And you'll really start to feel how this club head doesn't swing in and doesn't swing out. It really makes a lovely arc from the in and the out. And the third drill that I want you to do is I want you to lift the golf club up in front of you. Lift the golf club up in front of you by pushing down and now sequence that with a takeaway. So as you're pushing the golf club down, as you're pushing it down, I want you to then rotate away. Now if you're pushing down, as you rotate, you can see how the club handle moves in and around me. So I'm pushing down, pushing down and lifting the club head up as I move around me. And you'll start to see how that golf club will really improve the way the takeaway works. So I'm gonna push down and lift up. As I push down and lift up, I'm gonna rotate my body. Push down and lift up and rotate my And this will really give you a sense of how we start to move the club up in front of us as we create a round. So hopefully that's given you some insights into what you need to look for in your own takeaway to see where your bias is, not only with where the handle track moves, but where the head track moves and then three drills that you can apply to give you a sensation that might fend off the misdirection you have with either the handle or the head. But remember this, people. There has been many, many takeaways that have been either slightly too inside or they have been slightly too outside. That have been able to make people a lot of money. If you are fixated on your takeaway and you haven't been able to fix it, I'm pretty sure there will be other areas in your swing that you might want to check out first. Of course, I don't know what they are but it might be worth investigating via my fundamentals playlist or my grip playlist. I'm here to help you, yes you, play the very best golf possible. I'm really happy you're here watching this video. Do hit the like, share and subscribe while you're here. That my friends is good coaching and I look forward to seeing you next time.